son was normal before he met you. He was miserable. He was trying to be who you wanted him to be. He may have been innocent, but he was a man. He still is. No. Not since you took advantage of him. Well, I was as innocent as he was. I don't have to listen to this. Oliver loves you, Mr. Fish. The first time I met him, he spent half the time talking about you. You're his hero. You're the whole reason he wanted to be a cop. You're also the reason he lived alive for so long. Oliver was never ashamed about coming out. He just didn't want you to feel shame. But you do, right? I ran into him the other day. He told me what happened. He thinks you're done with him. You know what that's doing to him? To think that he's never going to see you again? It's killing him. Hello, Mrs. Fish. Hello, Kyle. We'll be late for work. Let's go. George, don't you want to say goodbye to Oliver? day from police academy we've always been very proud of you but i cannot and i, I will not accept your choice of lifestyle it's not a choice dad and it's not a lifestyle i will pray for you thanks for stopping by have a safe trip you in a few days. If you're gonna hit me, just avoid the nose. Hit you? Are right, you gonna hit me? You look like you wanna hit me. You, you just told me what you thought I needed to hear. Did you? Did I what? need to hear it. When I look at Matthew, I think of Drew. I, I can't help it. What about me? David, when I look at you, honestly, I don't know what to think. Yeah, you said I wasn't your son. <laughs> what? No. Wh look, I'm sorry. I was angry, all right? I didn't mean that. Really? David, you are my son. DNA proves it. Look, let's cut through it. I know you never wanted a son like me. But what makes it so hard is I always wanted a dad just like you. <laughs> I see you work at it. You try to be a good dad, and sometimes you're really bad at it, but... At least you try. That's very foreign to me. Matthew's pretty lucky to have you. <laughs> you had breakfast yet? You buying? I'm your old man. <laughs> Steak and eggs. Yeah. Make it two. Mr. Rivera. She's living here too? No, but if she was, that would be between me and her. You're right. It's your apartment, Marco. It's your life. And if you ever want a home-cooked meal, 
You're welcome to come anytime and bring Langston.